Barcelona, late afternoon, siesta time. All right, we're here to talk about IPFS cluster, which turns out to be big enough that it became a bit of a cluster, so we sharded our group into two parts. We're gonna do the first half, and our colleagues are gonna come up with the back half in a second. We're gonna talk about the what and the why of IPFS cluster. So the what, it's replicated pin sets across nodes working in coordination. Why? Well, for one, resiliency. If you're in the normal IPFS world, you've got a node and he's got a node and maybe there's some things between the two of you that are the same, but guess what? There's some differences and guess what? This one burns down and there's no more of that green data anymore. So you don't have any kind of resiliency in the normal IPFS world. However, in the IPFS cluster world, this data is the same as this data. It's the same as this data. And so this one burns down. The data still exists in the other two clusters. Additionally, you have an issue with latency. If you're looking at the normal IPFS world and you're using it in the true interplanetary sense of the file system and you're on the moon and you're trying to get data from Earth, it's taking a long time and you turn into a skeleton. But if you have a cluster that's here and here and here and here and also replicated on the moon, you're happy, you're smiling because you're not really a moon man, you're the Borg. And that's what IPFS cluster really is. It's IPFS Borg.